2024, I am using food as a fuel source to increase my testosterone. I'm going to show you step by step how I personally do that in my own life, my daily meals that I eat, and then hopefully you can take something away so you can end up implementing in your life so you can as well increase your testosterone in 2024. To start off, when I wake up in the morning, my first meal that I go to eat is nothing. I simply do not have a breakfast in the morning. Uh, instead, I go for a coffee. Now in my coffee, uh, I do add in some raw milk. One of the reasons why I uh, specifically just want milk in my coffee is just because one black, I, I haven't quite got to the point where my taste buds can enjoy black coffee, um, but having raw milk in there ensures that I'm getting protein, right? And while yes, I am not technically in a fast, uh, it's, it's like a half a cup of milk. Uh, it's not much, uh, so my body isn't bogged down with a ton of crap to start digesting using energy uh, that takes away from my work or other things like that, because in the morning is when I'm in my flow state, I get done a lot of work. And so, uh, and then I break the fast, my second meal, which comes in raw eggs. Yeah, like literally I, I buy the pasture raised eggs uh, at the grocery store. A lot of people are always kind of asking me like, are you not worried about salmonella? Are you not scared about drinking raw eggs. Uh, and I was at first, but I've been doing raw eggs in my uh, protocol for about six months now. I've eaten probably over 300 eggs and have yet, knock on wood, get salmonella. So no, I'm not worried about it anymore. I make sure that my eggs are properly sourced and I don't just go buy the cheap, like, you know, $4 eggs at the grocery store. I buy the nice, typically it's the, the pasture raised, you know, nice regenerative farmed eggs. Uh, eat those, four of them, break my fast. And then I uh, actually have a cinnamon roll. Now, why cinnamon rolls with sugar and carbs? Why would that be something that's gonna help you increase your testosterone for me? specifically is it puts me in the frame of mind of that I can eat what I want, right? I can actually not have to be in this certain regimen and can only eat this certain thing in order to do this, right? Because I'm so disciplined and I, right? It allows me to get the freedom to understand that my body will adapt. Uh, then I have a apple, which is once again, kind of a whole food pro or whole food source, right? And I try to on most everything that I eat, keep it one ingredient. If you, if it's a one ingredient food source, then it's going to be clean enough for your body to understand and process it. Uh, what that does is that's going to get me some carbohydrates to fuel my workout, right? Cause I go and work out right after that, right after I break the fast. Uh, and typically it's going to be intensive, hard workout, um, one to continue to increase that testosterone after, uh, I, I work out, get some more work done. And then I go and have my dinner. What my dinner involves is going to be basically using kind of like a barbecue, right? <laughs> barbecue place. You know how they have the three meats, right? And so what I tried to, um, structure it on is that three meat barbecue style, right? First one's going to be some sort of fatty meat. Okay. That's going to be like rib steak. Um, it's going to be some beef, ground beef, right? Something like that. Uh, then I'm going to have some organ, okay? Whether it's heart, liver, any of that sort of stuff comes in my second one. And then the third one's going to be something that isn't a, uh, is it beef or isn't a ruminant animal? Go for something else like a salmon, right? A fish, something of that sort. It's going to ensure that I'm getting variety, right? But still having omega-3s, because omega-3s are what carries those nutrients, those micronutrients to increase that testosterone. And so when I have those three meats, I then add on some sort of like another fruit, right? I stick, I stay away and stray away from the vegetables. One for glyphosates that they spray on vegetables in America. Uh, two for the fact that it actually has estrogenic effects that just, I just don't want to put in my body. And then at times I will have some sort of carbohydrate, whether it's a sweet potato, whether it's uh, like a date, right? Date with, uh, put some butter in there, right? depending on how bulking or cutting, something like that. Once again, all of this, you look at most of this food other than the cinnamon roll, I excluded the cinnamon roll, but that those are one ingredient foods. They're whole foods that are gonna allow you and allow your body to understand what's going in so we can properly source each one in its right area. You'll see your physique start molding in a way and morphing in a way in which it's the body that you want. 
because your testosterone is going to be increasing, your hormones are going to regulate what is needed in your body. The big thing that I've really learned throughout this process, it's already been about a month or so following this, is make it simple. See how very, very simple and easy that is to follow, right? Trying to source with protein. That's the main component in my protocol. And that's going to ensure that I'm going to get the nutrients that I need to optimize hormones, optimize testosterone, and ultimately build the body that I want. So if you found this video helpful, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I think like 98.8% .8 of you guys aren't subscribed. But either way, I hope you gain value from this. And if you want something else and some other uh, video that can help you increase that testosterone, click this video right here and maybe we can get in with your training a bit.